up guys? Back for another one. We're doing some weight reduction today. Um, not very much weight. Uh, really, it's just getting rid of some junk here in the back that I'm wanting to do for a while. Um, the carbon hatch should be here soonish, I hope. And uh, the Brookline rear end. It's going to save a bunch of weight. I want to get all this carpet out and these panels and some of these panels. I'm taking off the hatch. I'm going to only keep like this top top one and then this one because I have my radar detector cord like on that so it doesn't just like hang because it annoys me and I have my radar detector up here mounted in the hatch I like it a lot there anyway but I want to keep the cubbies here on the side let me take you out of here I want to keep the cubbies here so I'm gonna like just kinda chop the carpet here and then leave I swear every time I go to make a video he comes home Oh God. That shit hurts. Anyway, I think I got all the tools I need. Put the camera at some artsy spots here and uh, get to go. Oh, I need a knife. This is going to be exciting. I don't even use a cubby on this side. I really just want these seatbelts out though. It's annoying. Oh, and I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Well, I'm gonna like zip tie this thing. Good thing the electrician's here. Yeah. <laughs> so first things first is getting this this brace out. I gotta get to the carpet around it. So it's a couple of sixes. Get this baby right on out. Then I'm gonna start taking the uh, what you wanna call it? These side panels off, and then start cutting some shit. All right, I will show you guys how I managed to get this far on the other side, but it looks like this piece is one whole piece. So I at least wanted to get that on camera, which means I gotta, before I even pull this out, I gotta do this side. So I guess I'll do that. And then we'll pull out these seat belts and uh, go from there. I might, should maybe pull the battery. Cause if that, what does that go to? Oh no, okay, so that does it. All right. We'll see. So you got two Torxes right here, and then this little guy just pops right off. Throw those into your uh, your bolt drawer over there. And then from here, uh, there's a 10 mil in this. I'll pop this right here off. There we go. I'll pop this off so I can get this off. Sorry, it's all blown out. But uh, the big one tucks into the small one. And then uh, pretty much just pulls apart. Go ahead and rip this fella out. Alright. This. this little tab down here where the 10 mil is. Thing back in up here, it's good to go. Carpet wraps around that. This uh, has got another, oh, you guys can't even see it. Now that that panel's off, got a little uh, pin guy up here in the corner. Rip that out. Oh, try and save it for another. Oh, yeah. All right, save that. And you just There we go. Get these seat belts out. Now we'll just go to this back. Okay, so we got two more torques down there. You can put it towards you. Good. One second. Here, yeah. So these these two sides are connected, guys. You just gotta manhandle this. Oh! Don't hit your head. Oh, they they do come apart. Well, I'm done. But hey, it's out. And then we'll be going back in. Well, 
know it's kind of a pain in the butt the way the bolt is behind this trim so you got to pull off this big piece of trim which you just yank on it and you get back there and get the bolt off you can see on this side it's still there not gonna lie it's kind of ugly it's gonna be ugly back here but uh this whole side's carpet's coming out we get to see all the wires and stuff oh there's like a module or something back there hmm gotta be mindful of that I just cut this side to keep this cubby. I'm going to put that other thing back in here. I haven't been using this one for a while, but I'll be able to just keep that. kind of hides all this stuff back here from getting rattled with. And I have shit in the back here, so I'm going to keep that. But this carpet's coming up. Keeping the sub in for at least traveling purposes, but it's out during racing. But I'm about to cut this side. And... Oh, you can flip the thing back. my knife. Where are you under your butt. Oh. Um, kind of just picking a point, not too close to where that is. Oh, yeah. 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 oh there's like extra material here. Like extra sound deadening. Ooh, girl. Boom! Get this out of here. Alright. Oh, that works. You get it. up. Yeah. All right. Well, I got everything, uh, all the carpet and stuff the way I want it. On the sides, at least. I got the, whatchamacallit, zip tied up there. Got the brackets back in for the brace. Um, I'll probably cut this off, cut this off, cut that off. This, this, this. All these little brackets off here eventually. Like stuff like this for the seats and. Eventually, I'll probably like cut the headliner like halfway, like right where the the front seats meet, and then everything back here uh, will probably be out. I like having these door pockets though, because I got the, this portable jumper. Well, maybe I'll stick that one, and this one actually would be perfect. And I can just pull these door panels off. See, I just don't know if that inside speaker there is mounted to the door or if it's mounted. But there's there's a lot of. Eventually, though, not right now. We'll get there. Well, well, the sub and carpet come out pretty easily. I just wiped it down. I need to go uh, give this baby a, a nice vacuum in here. But now I just need to figure out how I'm going to mount the PM4 now since I used to have it zip tied to the carpet. I've got like a slew of different things here I'm going to try. Um, maybe zip tie these around a couple things. And then use some adhesive and sticky stuff to just keep things in place specifically this I have some nice stuff that should work for this and it gets pretty warm so hopefully it'll it'll stick good but I'm also gonna zip tie things in places so in case that does come loose this thing ain't gonna go flying so I got these like velcro things and then these uh, strips but uh, basically yeah, it's like velcro here I'm gonna try these out Stick both of these on the bottom of it, stick it there, see how she does. Um, I'm gonna keep these in the car just in case this does ever come loose. I mean, it can't go too far. I have it zip tied here and zip tied all around. So, this, I mean, it's still, you don't want this thing flying around. Then you got the connection, it would be kind of stressing on there. So, I don't think it will. It doesn't get that hot, but uh, I'm gonna clean up this spot. It's a little greasy and uh, stick her down. All right, I stuck her down. Feels pretty decent. Yo, yo. Well, lucky you guys get to see here at the end of the video something cool I got. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Michael, once again. Uh, he had two, gave me one. He's only gonna one run one seat in his car. But uh, yeah, 
you got a nice little racing seat. Uh, you can get like padding and stuff to put over this. I got a, a friend of mine on Facebook. He just got one and oh yeah, this is gonna really change things. Like the way the bolsters are, I mean, that's like in my armpit. I guess you can't really see. It's like in my armpit. Like this shit is like, it's gonna keep me in the driver's seat good. It's like right now in my driver's seat, I am like all over the freaking place in the corners and this will really, really help. I'm thinking, I don't know. I need to order some bracketry and like rig it all together. And then um, once I get that down, I'll buy another one and do it for the passenger seat. But I just need money, really. Just, uh, just waiting. I really want to get uh, E85 tune. And that's expensive. <laughs> and I just ordered all that other crap. So I'm trying to play my pennies right right now. Get the most out of everything. My car is so dusty. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go here. For a drive after a while, I'm about to go eat dinner, and then I'll come back here and take it for a little rip. Hopefully I remember I'll throw the GoPro on and uh, get a couple clips. But uh, that's pretty much it for now. I don't know how much weight this saved. I wanted to go on. It was maybe 10 pounds, if that. And now I'm also going to take the crash bar out, too. Um, I was going to start on that today, actually, but if my plans go through for tomorrow and then I don't want to have the car all apart but uh, yeah anyways it's hot and I'm hungry